hello my viewers welcome to my channel once again and today we'll be talking about how to discern and see through the devil's lies deceit crookedness craftiness uh, the devil is a master of this act he has been doing this thing for centuries for millenniums so we're going to try to talk about how to how to see through and discern the devil and see through whatever form the devil comes in we'll be able to recognize him now ladies and gentlemen brethren and sisters uh, we could be children of God and even mean well and think we are doing well and living by the scriptures and uh, by the words of the Bible but you see, the devil will not just sit back and watch you just soar in your Christ-like living. He will always find a way to infiltrate and adulterate your mind. And what he does is, since if he comes, if the devil comes in his hunts, with his hunts, he steals, and is in his real form, you'll be able to discern and say, this is the devil. You quickly rebuke him or flee from him. So what he does is, he uses... The most flashy weak and innocent form to come through to you he can either come through to you especially when you have decided to accept christ he knows now your 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 your, your level of discernment is is stronger so you always come disguised very innocently you could come in if in in form of a family member somebody you love very much you see him acting and he'll make you act in a way you are not supposed to you could ever he could ever try to get anger from you fetch some unnecessary emotions from you that is the devil and if you check this thing i've always wondered why is it that it's only women that have brought about the most downfall of the greatest men on earth the strongest men on earth it has always been women why is that People seem to feel, uh, view women as, okay, very beautiful, soft, innocent, weak. So you tend to give, you feel comfortable, probably out of love, or you feel she's weak, there's nothing you can do. You divulge so much information about you to her, out of love, or for whatever reason, we can see, like the King Solomon, we can see the story of Samson. We can even bring it back to these our present days. We see Bill Clinton. It was a woman that brought about his downfall. Uh, so many other, I can't keep counting. But what I'm trying to say in essence is the devil, once you see yourself getting too comfortable, or you get too comfortable in a, in a, in a, in a, in a suspicious kind of way, just know that is the devil. He's making you feel comfortable. And you know deep within you that this is not God's kind of comfortable. Let me make an illustration to you. Look at what is happening now. Now they sold democracy to us. In the beat, they know every human being loves to be free. Everybody is enchanting freedom, freedom, freedom. But at what expense are you willing to buy that freedom for yourself? Is it at the detriment of losing your soul? Let me tell you what happens. Go to Libya, go to Iraq and see most of these people, they sell the idea of democracy freedom to them those people were not really they were being ruled by uh, is it the the the, the light to them that they are being oppressed but if you check what's happening go to libya now and see how those people are suffering those people that sold democracy and freedom to them knew what they wanted to get from that their that their lands so immediately after they got the person that was in the way of what they wanted to get Go to uh, Libya and see what's happening. Most of them are regretting why they took uh, Gaddafi out of the way because they sold the idea of freedom to them. Now, Gaddafi was one of the best things to happen. They were living a very comfortable life, but they were thinking they were not free. What kind of freedom are you talking about? And the Bible says, they think, normal, if you get too free, it's freedom is too much, enjoyment is too much, and... Uh, if everything gets too comfortable, you see people start misbehaving. That is the fact. So once you get too free at something, you begin to misbehave. That's why they said, a man who, 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 who that's gluttony. Even gluttony is a, is a sin. If you get too satisfied, you begin to act 
out of character. That's why they said too much of everything is bad. It will start make you start to misbehave. Let me make another illustration, quick illustration to you. Look at what is happening. They started, they have started selling, they are telling you now to make your son, your children. They are telling you that marriage, like the way God designed it. Let me tell you something about the devil. The devil is comfortable. It doesn't matter. It, he's not telling you to come out and say, I curse God or I do what I do that. No. Let me tell you, for example, now Nebuchadnezzar built an idol, a, a statue of himself and asked people to worship. Now he did not particularly come out to say, I curse God, I did what. But for him to make an, a statue of himself and ask you to worship by force, the devil is very comfortable. That is the devil in disguise. He didn't come out in his face. You look at it and say, this is Nebuchadnezzar. Now, he has endorsed what Nebuchadnezzar is doing because he knows it is, it is to his glory. The devil is very comfortable so far as what you do goes directly, uh, directly contrary to God's plan. Look at what is happening. They are saying, now they, are, they have started promoting divorce just the way they are fighting for feminism. You see what I'm telling you about selling freedom to you? They are selling freedom, telling you freedom, freedom. They started with freedom, freedom. Now they are telling you you can be free to be a man or a woman. They are even asking, one woman was asking her, her son whether is he a boy, does he think he's a boy or a girl? How can you ask, you are confusing a child, an infant, and asking him if he thinks he's a boy or a girl? So now he said he's a boy. Are you sure you are a boy? What kind of a question is that? Then tomorrow you are the one putting that thing in his subconscious. Now tomorrow he will come and start thinking, probably I might be a girl. He will start acting like a girl and you don't know. You have sold your, your, your child, your innocent child. And you say it's freedom. You support him. He wants to, he, it's, no matter what gender he chooses to be so that it will make his life easy. You support him. What kind of devilish way of thinking? How, how, how dumb, how gullible can you be? Can't you see what's happening? Now they are selling, the, the Lord said the authority of a man is God. And the authority of a woman is a man. That is how he made this law. And that is how it should be. Now they have started selling the idea of feminism to you. Making women feel they are not, they are not being, uh, they are not being, they are being uh, stereotyped. They are being uh, marginalized. They are being, what do you mean by that? That is how God made it. He said, a man should be your authority. Now you are fighting for the same position as man. If everybody becomes equal in the society, man becomes equal to God. God, uh, woman becomes equal to man. The children will start fighting for gen Go to these uh, Western countries and see what's happening. Now they have started saying if you beat your child, they would even go and report you to authorities. Now the child will be equal. So now they are preaching everybody should be free and everybody knows. The Bible says spare the rod, uh, uh, spoil the child. So if everybody lives a free life they're, they're, like they are selling that idea to you, the world will be living in chaos. And that is a sign to show you things are not right. The devil is happy. He's confusing and frustrating every plan of God. So far as everything God, is, uh, God made is being mocked by man, the devil is very okay. They are selling uh, feminism. Very soon they will start saying, now they have started, there is a movement quietly breeding now in the West. They are saying they are supporting divorce. That divorce makes a woman free. It's better for a woman to be free and give back to children out of wedlock. She should just give back to children and stay without getting married than going to get married. That marriage is now a prison. Can you see? Now they have started changing what God made. That we who finds the wife finds the good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Now they are telling you it's comfortable. It's very okay for you to live with a man or a woman should live with a man. How do the world, the Bible said, go into the world and multiply. How do you multiply if a man gets married to man and a woman gets married to woman? How do you multiply? That is frustrating God's effort. And now they are telling you, okay, even if you don't want, you can, everybody can go and get, you can mar get married to the same gender. And how do you procreate? How do you give birth? Women have started fighting for the same, uh, 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 what do they call it? Uh, authority with men. You see, everything is done. It's a strategic movement pinned by the devil. Very strategic. And it's a ticking time bomb. When it explodes, it will be on your face. You better learn to. You see, women are very bitter these days. They are like, why don't, why this, why that? Always complaining. I'm not saying women should be oppressed. Don't get me wrong. So men even frustrate the effort of women. That I know. But once women start fighting for the same rights, they said the Bible said the woman is the neck in the house, the man should be the head.
and God should supersede everything, all their affairs. So if the woman, how can two heads be on one neck? There won't be even neck. If there are two heads, then where is the neck? <laughs> I don't even understand how these people are. How do, Everything the devil does is going against nature, going against God's creation, going against and defiling even your body. Can you imagine a man and a man? What do they do? How, how does it happen? Disgusting, irritating. I pray that God gives us the eye to see and protect our children from movies they watch, songs they listen. When last did you take your time to listen to the lyrics of the songs your children listen to? If you hear what these people are saying in music and say, do, uh, acting in movies, and those are where the places the devil use the most. Those are the mechanism, the facility, the channel, the medium he uses to penetrate into your subconscious into your children and the children are just growing up they don't really know the difference between good and bad any information they get taught is what they are going to use they are hearing about homosexuality is normal that's what they will know they are hearing about feminism man is equal to woman that is what they will use they are hearing about go to church these days if you ask a girl what does she want to be and she tells you she tells you she wants to be a good wife to her husband and a good uh, mother to her children they will laugh at her in the church they are breathing fire they are breathing feminism in the church without them even knowing if you ask her and she tells you she wants to be a mother and a good wife they will laugh at her as if she don't know what she's doing what do you say you want to be again if she says it again they will start scrutinizing her how dare you say that therefore they are breathing her to be a a fire breathing dragon feminist even in the church it is happening and we don't even know now we have gay priests gay people are getting married in the church lbgt movement they are fighting the westerners are fighting for the freedom of these homosexuals and this feminism the the energy resources they use in fighting for these people's rights is more than the energy they are using to fight for people in ukraine that are, uh, are getting killed every day the, the, the is more than the power they are using the facility the whatever means they are using to fight for people in the middle east who are being beheaded every day you see what is happening? The devil lifts your focus from what is supposed to be right and turns it upside down. He gives you delusion. He feeds you delusion to become your reality. Now you are fighting for gay rights, feminist and uh, gender equality instead of fighting for the lives of people that are being slain in the Middle East for their faith and believe in God. May God help us to open our eyes so that we we'll see what is happening and wake up from our slumber and pray and use your Bible. Your Bible is a compass, is a navigation that will lead you to, to knowledge, to wisdom and uh, understanding of what is happening. So wake up from your slumber. Hold the Bible. Don't hold your phone to be liking and uh, God forsaking women, the, the, the God forsaking women with butt implants and breast implants. That is not where the focus, the devil is shifting your focus. Use your Bible on your phone and stop using your phone to be liking women with makeup. Women have turned to piece of artwork, walking. That is why what we have these days as women, women, instead of us, we have women that are breeding mothers, women that want to be mothers, that want to be wives. We have makeup artists as Half of the ladies have turned to makeup artists. Therefore, what do we mean by makeup artists? Makeup artists is, artists is you make something to become reality. You, you, you make an artificial to become visible. So that is what is happening. Look at women, they walk about these days. What they care about most is that makeup. So they turn them into a piece of art walking. Instead of a human being walking, a woman, everything about her is fake. Her, from her butt, that is uh, her back, her back uh, backside is being filled by silicone or whatever. Her breasts are being filled by whatever. I don't know. Her face, you don't even, she herself will not recognize herself. From the hair down to, from the strand of her hair, to the soles of her feet, to her nails, everything is fake. That is what the devil is selling to you. And you are sleeping from, instead of you to wake up from your slumber. I pray that God gives us the discernment spirit to decipher and see through his crookedness, his wickedness, and his deceit. So our souls 